Since I was young, I remember that I was that kid that kept on saying hi to random strangers while smiling at them. I was labeled weird by my parents and teachers until I stopped doing it. Fast forward to me being 27, I had this epiphany moment. I was sitting to my desk and suddenly, out of nowhere, I asked myself, what do I want out of this life? But this time I wanted a real answer, not a superficial one. Brian Tracy mentioned the five wise method. I decided to use it, and whichever answer comes up, I shall ask myself, why? For example, I want to excel in my job. Why? To get more money. To be happy. Then I asked, what else? I wish for a life partner to share my life with, to be happy. Then I realized that everything that I wished for in my life, I just wanted it in order to be happy. Applying the concept of begin with the end in mind and to be good at anything teach it, I decided to write a book about happiness. The self-doubt begins. Who am I to write a book? I'm not an author. Am I even happy enough to write a book about happiness? I have made a lot of research until this one sentence set me free. The best thing you can do to be a good writer is to write, 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 and write. I decided to start and to never think about the publishing. I am going to write for myself because I needed to learn how to be happy. I made a promise that every idea in this book should be genuine, tested, and practical. Before I wrote any idea, I tested it and searched for other people whom the idea worked for. When I started, the magic began. A research led to a thought, a thought led to an interview, an interview led to a book, a book led to an organization. I interviewed people from more than 20 countries about how they define happiness and how they find it. I integrated these interviews into the book. I felt that the book is writing me. It became effortless and before I know it, the book was finished. It was a four years journey. I have put my heart and soul into this book. What I discovered after writing this book, there are three secrets to happiness. The first is that happiness has no secret because it's only science and its application. That happiness does not come from external possessions and activities like money, relationships, or traveling. We have been programmed that these things should make us happy. I'm not saying that they should not, but I'm claiming that we should experience a lot of stuff, then choose what makes us happy, no matter how insignificant they might look to other people. The third secret is that happiness does not come from one thing. However, the most popular question about happiness is, what can I do to be happy? There is no one thing you can do to be happy. It's like going to the gym and asking the trainer which machine will make my body look great. There is no such thing. Happiness is a combination of mindsets and activities that you do on a daily basis. If you want simple, deep, and to the point tools, philosophies, and practices which will make you live a happier, fulfilling life, grab your copy of The Forgotten Art of Happiness.